my final semester of undergrad, I made two signs that read, Feeling stressed about exams? Have a free hug! Then I recruited a friend and we stood in the entrance of the campus library, held up the signs and waited. Passed by had one of two reactions. Either they quickly looked down at their phones and awkwardly shuffled by, or their faces slid up as they embraced us. Most people were enthusiastic. Some exclaimed, you made my day, or thank you, I needed this. One leapt into my arms, nearly toppling me over. After two hours of warm interactions, my friend and I couldn't believe how energized and happy we felt. A study published earlier this month suggested that, in addition to making us feel connected with others, all those hugs may have prevented us from getting sick. At first, this finding probably seems counterintuitive, not to mention bizarre. You might think that I did, that hugging hundreds of strangers would increase your exposure to germs and therefore the likelihood of falling ill. But the new research out of Carnegie Mellon indicates that feeling connected to others, especially through physical touch, protects us from stress-induced sickness. This research adds to a large amount of evidence for the positive influence of social support on health. Social support can broadly be defined as the perception of meaningful relationships that serve as a psychological resource during tough times. More importantly, and more specifically, this means emotional support such as expression of compassion may it may include assess to information or other assistance. The researchers measure social support by giving out a questionnaire in which participants rated different statements. E.g., I feel there is no one I can share my most private worries and fear with. Then, they conducted interviews every night for two weeks to find out how often participants experienced conflict with others and how often they received hugs. Finally, the researchers infected participants with a common cold virus and observed what happened. Several interesting results emerged. Encouragingly, people overall had a strong sense of social support, as shown by a high medium score on the questionnaire. Similarly, they were more likely to be hugged, which happened on an average of 68% of days during the two-week interview period, than to experience conflict 7% of days. The most important result, however, were that the researchers deemed a stress buffering effect. Keep in, keep in mind that interpersonal conflict can cause people a lot of stress and thereby weaken their immune systems. Yet, regardless of how much conflict they endure, Participants with a strong sense of social support developed less severe cold symptoms than those who felt socially deprived. Likewise, the more often people hugged, the less likely they were to get sick, even among individuals who frequently had tense interactions. In other words, both social support and hugging prevented against illness. The same lead researcher that had previously shown that more diverse types of social ties a person has, such as friends, family, co-workers, and community, the less susceptible to colds they are. Evidently, just as we prioritize exercise and nutrition, we ought to prioritize quality time with loved ones. Just as we avoid unhealthy habits like smoking, we should make an effort to avoid isolation and to counter social exclusion. E and even if you don't want to hug hundreds of strangers, although I recommend trying it, don't underestimate the healing power of touch. And below shows a graph of the effect of social network diversity on observed colds, as verified through objective criteria. People who reported one to three different types of social relationships fell under low social network diversity. Those who reported four to five types of relationships fell under moderate diversity, and those who reported six or more types fell under high diversity. Sources adapted from Cohen S. Doyle WJ, Stoner DP, comma, 
Robin BS, comma, Walt C J M, comma, Junior, social ties and susceptibility to common cold. J M M A, J A M A, nineteen ninety seven, call, call it no. Okay, that's okay.